Hello everyone. I am going to solve some MCQs from renal physiology. So this question is about comparing two individuals. One person has ingested two liters of distilled water, and the other person has water deprivation. So what will the water deprived individual will have? So two individuals. We have one person who have consumed two liters of distilled water. This means. the person has water excess and other person has water deprivation so what would this individual would have in comparison with a person who had water first choice is high free water clearance free water which is formed in the kidneys is reabsorbed in the water deprived state and it is excreted in the urine in the distilled water consumption when the person has excess water consumption so uh, in this condition the clearance of free water would be lesser so the first choice is not correct lower plasma osmolarity water deprivation will make the plasma osmolarity to go higher so this is also wrong um, the third is lower circulating level of antidiuretic hormone water deprivation and increase in plasma osmolarity is a stimulant for antidiuretic hormone release which will help in conserving water so adh levels will be higher the third question is also third choice is also wrong higher tubular fluid by plasma osmolarity in the proximal tubule so though we have said the plasma osmolarity is raised in the water deprived state uh, the same fluid actually reaches the glomerular fluid so the tubular fluid by the plasma osmolarity the ratio remains the same which is going to be 1 on both the state so there is no change in the ratio as such though the plasma osmolarity is higher the tubular fluid which reaches the proximal tubule the early proximal tubule will also have a similar osmolarity so the tf by p is going to be 1 So the final choice higher rate of water reabsorption in the collecting duct yes that's true water deprivation leads to increase in the antidiuretic hormone which induces the expression of aquaporins which helps in reabsorption of water higher rate of reabsorption of water in the collecting duct that's the correct choice um which of the following would cause an increase in GFR and the renal plasma flow so both GFR and renal plasma flow has to increase basically they are uh, testing the understanding of the starling forces um so we have this is the afferent arteriole this is the glomerulus efferent arteriole capillaries let's take this the baumann's capsule Okay, so now here hypoproteinemia would cause uh, increase in the oncotic pressure within the glomerulus. This would actually increase in reabsorbing force. Would actually decrease the GFR. So the first choice would be wrong. A ureteral stone would uh, block the urinary outflow. It would actually increase the capsular hydrostatic pressure, which actually decreases the filtration. Again. this would decrease the gfr so it would also be a wrong choice dilation of afferent arteriole the afferent arteriole is dilated the resistance decreases so there is going to be increase in renal blood flow and also there is going to be increase in the rate of glomerular filtrate formation so gfr would also increase let's check the other choices also dilation of efferent arteriole when the efferent arteriole is dilated though the overall resistance decrease and there is a increase in renal blood flow this dilation would cause a decrease in the hydrostatic pressure in the glomerular capillaries this would actually cause decrease in a gfr so a uh, filtration fraction would decrease gfr would decrease and only the renal blood flow will increase so this is also a wrong choice constriction of efferent arteriole would increase the hydrostatic pressure in the glomerular capillaries so there would be increase in gfr but since there is a constriction and increase in the resistance 
increase in the resistance this would cause a decrease in the renal blood flow so this would also be a wrong choice so dilution of afferent arterial is the right choice for this question a five-year-old boy swallows a bottle of aspirin salicylic acid and is treated in emergency room the treatment produces change in the urine ph that increases the excretion of salicylic acid what was the change in urine ph and what is the mechanism of salicylic acid excretion so here they are testing a concept uh, which we call as a non-ionic diffusion and diffusion trapping um, the, the concept is in a non-ionic form a substance would diffuse across a plasma membrane easily uh, if this is the lumen and if it is the cell membrane so in a non-ionic form the molecules will be easily permeable and when if it in an ionic form the molecules will get trapped because ionic molecules cannot move across the lipid bilayer so um, salicylic acid is a weak acid so we can express it as HA reversibly forms an anion and a hydrogen ion so the concentration of all these substances will depend upon the existing pH if the pH is low which means the H plus ion concentration is higher the equation will favor the reverse reaction if the if there is alkalosis which means the pH is higher and the H plus ion is lower then the forward reaction would be favored and you will see this salicylate would be forming um, which is an ion which would not cross the lipid bilayer and more of salicylate will be excreted in the urine so in this condition uh, which would favor the increased excretion of salicylic acid so since this is an acid an alkaline ph a higher ph would facilitate the excretion of salicylic acid by diffusion trapping by making it an ionic form so this is what is being tested in this question the choices um, alkalinization which converts salicylic acid to salicylate it's anionic form this question is about calculation of free water clearance based on the data so there are a lot of other information given we need only a few uh, let's see what's the formula for free water clearance free water clearance is equal to urine flow rate minus osmolar clearance so uh, urine flow rate minus osmolar clearance if we expand its urine osmolarity into uh, urine flow rate divided by plasma osmolarity if we feed in all the values urine flow rate is 2 ml per minute um, urine osmolarity is 150 flow rate is 2 ml plasma osmolarity is 300 so this would be 300 by 300 this is 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 ml per minute is the correct choice so the first choice is the positive free water clearance 1 ml per minute plus 1 ml per minute this means the person is having a, a water excess in the body and free water is being excreted thank you